Hey everyone, I wanted to show you what I think is the most affordable and best adjustable peep sight for your open sight muzzleloader. So I want to give credit where credit is due. So Savit Loader, he is all on the muzzleloader forums. He has helped a ton, great resources. I even messaged him. So thank you so much, Savit Loader. So these are things that I have learned from others with kind of a few tweaks of my own. What we have here is the Williams FP adjustable sight. I know season is coming up. I have not been able to dial this and stretch it all the way through, but I have sighted it in. And so I wanted to get this on your radar ahead of time since there there is those seasons coming up. The Williams sight is extremely durable. So what I did was I purchased a FP sight without target knobs on Midway USA for 65 bucks. If you buy one that has both target knobs, you're gonna have a windage and elevation here. What I wanted was just like a scope, I prefer a capped windage. So I did not want the windage to be uh, able to be dialed. So I ordered from Williams directly the elevation knob and they call us a gib lock knob on the left. So I ordered two knobs. I got the sight and I installed the elevation and the gib lock. The gib lock lets you tighten it down to where you can't adjust the elevation or loosen where you can. So it's really solid for in the field. So I've got a locked windage. I've got a gib lock knob to release the elevation. And so far it's, it's pretty stout super happy with it this is exactly what i would suggest and this whole setup was under 100 bucks and it is it is really solid now for the front this is where i had sad loader help a ton he has a, a a post that talks about the parts list here i'm going to add these below again this is a, thanks to him for that i use a williams streamline ramp and then i use the open sight hood that they have the williams ramp you do have to install the fiber optic. And so it's like a dovetail. I did install that, but first I changed it from a green to a red. So all you archery guys, which that was me who wanted to build a muzzle loader, you're literally using a green fiber optic and that's, I prefer green pins. So this really was appealing to my eyes to have a green fiber optic there. A little bit of a pain to kind of swap it out and, and everything, but not bad on that. You can get a Lyman globe, I believe, will work with the Streamline ramp. You gotta make sure you have the right height. So if there's one thing that I would like to test, that would be it. Now I would suggest this over the Williams Western kit. That globe does not have a hole up top. And so from what I've seen, or from what I've heard, there is less light let in. With this green fiber optic, if it's pretty dark, you can still see it. So really like that about the fiber optic and I am a sucker for the green just like archery. Once you get these tightened down real nice you basically are ready to go. So I sighted in at 50, dialed it up, sighted it in at 100, got it where I wanted, tightened down the give lock. So I am fully sighted in at 100. Now I have not sent it out to, to past 100 so this is a new sight for me. So once you get this set up call Williams and they'll tell you where to measure I think it was front of peep to front of the, uh, the fiber optic. You give them that distance, they're gonna give you how many clicks per MOA. Mine was at about six and a half. That's the data that you need to verify. So same with the scope, it may not track perfect. This is not, this is not as robust as a scope, so to speak. It's literally just clicks. But say it is six clicks per MOA at 100 yards, you need to go out and verify. And you're probably gonna to wanna to verify at further distances. As you guys know, with an open sight, you're not gonna get that tight little quarter inch group at 100 yards typically. And so, especially with a muzzle loader, but if you can get out to 200, maybe 300, dial it, see if your drop is close. I think that'll show you where you're at, how many MOAs per click that you need. That's what I am most excited about, to have a great fixed sight that I can lock down with the gib lock, the windage locked, and have a good solid 100 yard muzzleloader. But if I want to, I can extend it, 
I can dial and even add some reference marks here. So really excited. I'm gonna be doing more videos in the future, how to do that, how to get this out as far as it'll go, what the total adjustment is that I have. And it really excited about that. On the testing, I've been using the Hornady Bore Driver ELDX. Been shooting good out of this gun and just a lot of fun to have an adjustable peep sight. For the money spent, I think this is a really good option. Well under 150 for everything, depending where you find it. And so really let me know what you think. If you guys have suggestions, ways to improve this. If you've done this with the Lyman Globe, I would be very curious what you think. So far loving it. I'm gonna get this thing out way further, come back and report on it. But wanted to show you what it is for now as season is coming up. And uh, yeah, hope everyone has a great season and we'll see you on the next one.